Hey guys, Harish here from Shout Me Loud and welcome to another video episode of our awesome blogging series. Well, so I understand that many of you wants to start with email marketing but and you might be using something like Feedburner or MailChimp and you want to level up your game and you can do that by using, you know, like more sophisticated tools like ConvertKit, Aweber, GetResponse. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use ConvertKit to send an email newsletter. I'll also give you some overview of ConvertKit so that you can see and understand what is the power of ConvertKit. So without further delay, let's go ahead and let's do that. So this is how ConvertKit dashboard looks like. They have few options here like forms. Uh, this is where you will be creating new form for your website for different pages like that the power of convertkit is in the automation so you can have you know different kind of automation like let's say somebody finished reading to one of your sequence you can automatically uh, shift them to new sequence and there are many other tools i mean automation itself is a great uh, is a big topic that i will cover uh, sometime in the future but let's move ahead now this sequence part is very useful. Uh, it's very, you know, like effective. So what happens is like, let's say somebody subscribe to my email newsletter and then a series of email goes to their inbox. Like, let's say you subscribe to my email newsletter, then the first day, then on the third day or on the fifth day, you will, you'll get an email automatically. Uh, for this email sequence, I only have one email where I specifically ask question from the people like you know how do you get to know about uh, coin sutra or shout me loud uh, and few other questions which is relevant to the site itself so these kinds of open up the conversation with the people who have subscribed to and getting the answers from them also gives us a lot of insights on what they are looking at what they are expecting from uh, to read from us so uh, your email sequence is a very powerful feature that you should utilize you can have email sequence of let's say for one month you can have five email newsletter or you can have uh, two to three email newsletter for one week but the point is whatever email marketing tool that you use do take advantage of email sequence and here comes the broadcast feature well using this feature you will be able to send email newsletter to everybody or few selected users in your email subscriber list so to do that in convert kit you need to click on new broadcast here's one cool feature that you should know about so uh, let's say you want to send email newsletter from something like no reply at the rate of domain.com or some other email address that you own you can add a new sending address and here you can select which email address you want to use to send email newsletter one of the very powerful feature of ConvertKit is the segmentation. So let's say if a user is subscribing to your blog uh, from a specific page, you can tag them specifically. To give you an example, let's say if a user is reading a blog post about WordPress on my blog and he subscribed to that, I can tag him with the you know tag called WordPress. Or let's say if he's reading about affiliate marketing, I can tag him about with the tag affiliate marketing. Now, once I've tagged those user, when I'm sending a newsletter, I can select people, you know, like uh, based on tags. So that kind of make the email newsletter hyper targeted. Your uh, CTR improves a lot. Your conversion improves a lot. And moreover, you know, like uh, you, since you are sending relevant information to the, to the people, they are more likely to be more responsive to your emails. And this really helps that's about it but in this case i'm sending email newsletter to all our subscriber which is uh, right now about 1700 subscribers clicking on next step now this is where uh, things you know everything comes in place so you can write email subject okay so let's say this now they have one cool feature of a b testing so you know like let's say you want to test uh, two different email titles it sends email newsletter to few people with different different title and based on the conversion uh, it will send another you know 
uh, email newsletter to rest of the people after three to four hours. So it's pretty cool feature um, and something that you must use. Well, uh, in this case, let's just stick with one. So, all right. So here comes the personalization feature like if you are subscribed to my email newsletter you know that it always says hey and your name. Well that feature is something that most of the email marketing tool offers in this case uh, with the convert kit. I can use either let's say hey and your name subscriber name. Now sometimes what happens people don't have their you know like name added in the list. So it kind of look bad so in this case what we do here is we use subscriber name with fallback. So what it does is hello first name. If the name is not there, then it just simply says hello. So it looks pretty good. And let me quickly compile the email. Uh, well, here is one more very cool feature. So let's say, you know, uh, you have few links on your blog and you want to tag user when they click on the link. You can also do that. You can create. Uh, so here is a hyperlink that I've added. And let's say if somebody clicks on it, I can tag him to in you know like any existing tag or I can call him like Bitcoin lovers or anything like that. Uh, there are many great use of this like for example you can run pool to you know tag users from your existing list or let's say if you are offering you know you have an Android and iOS app or you are promoting that for some other brand you can give the download link for both the apps and tag users who click on the Android store link and the tag user who is clicking on the ISO store link. This way slowly and steadily you will be able to you know uh, tag your user based on their interest and that will really help you in longer run. Well that's a slow and gradual process but that definitely helps. All right so here's the email is ready now they also have you know email template option you can also create your own email template. I like to use the plain simple email you know it just feels more personal however it's a good idea if you are you know let's say you really care about your branding and you want to integrate your brand logo and colors and everything in that case you can create a new template they have guide for that it's pretty easy to do you can do that uh, if you like to add images or you know add any file you can definitely do that from here so this one is pretty solid uh, the only complaint which I have with them is like there is no option to change the font directly. To change the font, uh, I need to create an email template. So that's something which I, you know, which I have complained for ConvertKit. Rest, I think like this is one solid email marketing too. Well, with that, uh, once it's done, click on next step. And here you can see, uh, you know, you can either send your email immediately or you can schedule it for, let's say, tomorrow or day after like any time in the future whenever you like. Uh, in this case let's just quickly send broadcast and then I'll also show you a few quick quick stuff about ConvertKit. All right so it has been queued on for processing. Uh, well let me show you some quick stuff. So here are a few of the email that I've sent in the past and you can see that you know this one got 37.3 percent open rate with 9.2 percent click rate which is pretty good. Okay, we can click on view report and here's the feature that you should pay attention to. So let's say if there is one important email that you want everyone else to read and you know after a few days you can actually send those email to everyone who have not uh, read, who have not opened the email. You know so some, sometimes it's very natural that we even we want to read certain email but we kind of miss them and then after the day it's it goes back to the second or third page. So with this feature here you know you can resend email the same email newsletter to everyone who have not opened the email and this definitely helps. So you know this one feature uh, uh, it's it's a good highlight of ConvertKit. Well pretty much that's it. There, there are many advanced things that you can do with ConvertKit. Uh, you can find more videos on YouTube or you can read their help guide. So pretty much ConvertKit is a solid email marketing tool. Uh, there are few others like Aweber. I used to like them. I mean I still like them. I switched from Aweber to ConvertKit. Uh, Get response is definitely on my radar but I haven't really you know explored them a lot. 
but still they like this three are like pretty solid one and i'll see you in the next video with more tips uh, that's all from me for now see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh mm -hmm.